Hello, good evening, and welcome to another episode of Studio One. I'm really looking forward to tonight's mm -hmm. show. Um, stress, mm -hmm. as well, we know well, yes. can affect us all at some point. So it'll be good to learn how exactly to manage it. That's all coming up a little later on in the show. Let's get going and start with tonight's competition, where you could have won, of course, a copy of Show Stress Who's Boss by Carol Spears. How to win? Well, nothing stressful about that. Just SMS stress busters to our competition line on 056 680 1018. Uh, now, make sure that you include your name and your location on that entry. Now, don't forget, of course, that we'll be speaking to tonight's lucky winner and we'll get this personalised by Carol herself a little later on in the show and we'll speak to you at the end of the show. Welcome back to Studio One. Now, Ash, you're a cool, calm, collected sort. Mm -hmm. You don't get stressed, do you? Well, I do sometimes. When? Um, like when I'm sitting next to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, most of our lives are filled with family, work and community obligations. And at some point, we feel as though we're, well, running on empty. So what are some of the things we can do to beat the stress and fill up the tank? Joining us on the Studio One couch is the author of Show Stress Who's Boss, Carol Spears. Hello, Carol. Hi, thank Welcome you. Welcome to the show. Thank, thank you so you. much for coming Pleasure. on. Pleasure. You're here to address a, a huge issue which is part and parcel of all, everyone's life, especially at workplace. Now, you being an expert uh, in stress management, how important is it to address this issue, especially at workplace? Fundamentally important. Work stress is getting more difficult to manage. There are increased expectations on ourselves. There's living with uncertainty. There's doing too much work or doing too little work. We're trying to balance our home and our work lives. And it is a very, very stressful place. Mm. People are spending 24 seven on their mobile phones. Mm. No one's switching off in their lives. Mm. You talk about being on empty. We think about our cars and we fill them up. But question is, do we actually fill, about our, fill up our bodies in the same way? Mm. So many people nowadays use the term, you know, you bump into them in the street, you meet them at home, how are you? I'm stressed. Is it an overused and as such underappreciated term at the moment? It is. I mean, even if you're fed up for the day, you say, gosh, I'm so stressed yeah. out. Instead of, I had a busy day, I'm so stressed. And it's not necessarily what they're experiencing. Stress is actually too much pressure. Right. So a lot of people don't actually even know what stress is. They think that stress is good for them, which it's not. Mm. So pressure is good for you and stress is not. Very simple. What is stress? Stress is too much pressure. Okay. So stress is when we're out of control and we actually can't cope. That's what stress is. And there are warning signs there. The warning lights are on our dashboards. Mm -hmm. The question is actually whether do we listen to those warning signs or do we actually think they're gonna go away? Yeah. Now, when it comes to stress, I believe that everyone, we all have our little individual ways of tackling it. But uh, I'm sure that there are people who go terribly wrong with it as well. So what, according to you, are certain mistakes we make when it comes to tackling stress? I think, first of all, people don't actually recognize what stress is. They think that and they come up with this uh, in incorrect misconception that stress is good for them, where, of course, it's not. So, therefore, they see some of those warning signs of stress. They ignore them. They're waking up, say, at 3 o'clock in the morning, and they're not get, but getting back to sleep. And actually, realistically, they should be doing something about it. They're getting you know, headaches that are there all the time. Yeah. They're not listening to the warning signs. Our dashboards really are showing up those red light flashing, but we don't necessarily take any action. Mm. Carol, you're an author of three books. This, of course, is the latest. Show Stress Who's the Boss. Uh, it's got a dedicated website, showstresswhosboss.co.uk. But just to give us a little sort of a talk, because you used the word simple a little earlier mm. on, and having a little flick through, that seems to be one of the messages coming through it at the moment, keeping it nice and simple. It really is. I mean, the book was written, it's, it's full of cartoons. Yeah. It's full of stories. It's full of, uh, it's full of ca characters within it. And I wanted to keep it simple. So many people actually think that stress is complicated. I wanted it to be a no-nonsense approach to managing stress. I wanted it to be accessible. So that's why I created this cartoon. The cartoon flows through the whole of the book. I wanted people to smile at things that we do wrong for ourselves and when we do it right. Mm -hmm. People don't know how to be a I wanted there to be a technique to understand that. There's lots of how-tos. When you're stressed, the last thing in the world you want is another book on stress, which is actually going to be complicated. To increase the stress levels, you actually don't want that. You want a book that takes away the mystique. It's really not complicated. Stress management is 
personal management mm. and we all need to manage ourselves. So the book is simple, bite-sized chunks, mm. lots of tools, lots of strategies. Mm. You want to know how to talk to somebody effectively, it's in the book. You want to know how to sleep at night, it's in the book. You want to know how, you, how much coffee you should be drinking, mm. <laughs> it's in the book. Mm. So relaxation, meditation, uh, what to say to people, how to manage those situations. I wanted bite-sized chunks, mm. easy, quick, where can I turn to it? Which page is it on? Ah, there's a skill for it. And I really wanted, this has been like my baby, this book. And it's I a really reference, it's a guide, it's, 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 it's a It's all handbook. of those. It's a handbook, but it's, I'm not saying it's a definitive handbook, but what I am saying is, is that I want it to be easy. Mm. I wanted people to be able to relate to it. Mm. And hence the character that flows through the book. I wanted people to, people to relate to Saba the Lion, because mm. that's my character. And I love him to pieces, because he's now become a part of me and everything. <laughs> I think he's become my alter ego here. Um, but I wanted people to relate to that and to see themselves, sure. for it to be fun. And I wanted people to laugh. Right. Can you laugh at stress management? You bet. You better have, yeah. Do you have any advice for television presenters who go live on air five days a week? Prepare, <laughs> prepare and prepare. Because realistically, that's what it's all about. If you turned up tonight and you hadn't prepared, mm -hmm. then you really would be stressed out. Mm -hmm. There's no question of that. Mm -hmm. People think that when you're on air, it always just happens. When no. I'm on platform, motivational speaker, it just happens. Do you know something? It doesn't just happen. It's preparation, mm. and without that, then that's when your stress levels um, will be high. I don't know about you, uh, Ash, but I'm stressed now because I don't know what to ask <laughs> next. You know, I'm not prepared. But what yeah, I, what I'm prepared what enough, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know about these because these come with the book, don't they? These come with the book. There's a there's a square. There's a square on the book uh, on on the card. You place your thumb onto the square, yep. and okay. if it stays black, that will be its natural state. Mm -hmm. It's funny, you gave this, this card to me at about 6 p.m. this evening, and it was green, yes, which and you indicates said to me, oh, I'm calm. She's very, very calm. <laughs> it was fine. I said, you just and wait. And then I placed my thumb here at 7.20, and it was mm. almost black. Yeah. And then two minutes before the show could go on air, I again placed my thumb and it was black. It, it was will charcoal be. black. Because, and you were very cleverly saying to me, Carol, uh, you know, this was at six o'clock, it was green. And I said, just wait. So 20 past seven, we came into the studio and she said, Carol, actually it's gone black. And I said, hey ho, we knew that would be the case. It'll go down to green. It's natural state. What happens, by eight is, -ish. what happens is with these cards is the fact is that when you're stressed, your extremities get cold. So the blood is constricted to the fingertips. So therefore that's why it's showing black. So anybody that gets the book from me on the website will get one of these okay. with the book and personally signed because I think that's important. Uh, we could talk about this for 24 hours and more. Unfortunately, we're limited to time, but uh, get your hands on the book. And in fact, of course, uh, one lucky viewer could be winning this this evening and we'll get Carol to sign it and personalise it for you as well. Uh, it's available on Amazon. Also, the website, which is showstresswhosboss.com. Alternatively, you can go to Carol's personal website, which is carolspearsgroup.com. Carol, thank you very much indeed for being with us. I think you've, you've, you've de-stressed us a little. You, you've loosened us up a little bit. Just right. <laughs> chill out, chill out. Oh, God, I'll have you take over now. I'm fine. <laughs> no, thanks very much.